Hey there. Can I join you for lunch? Oh, sweet. That's awesome. I have a very good recognition of faces, but yours? Very peculiar. I've never seen it before. So you must be a new employee here. Am I right? <laughs> of course I'm right. So what are you? Secretary? Assistance? Oh, you're the new intern. And you just got hired one hour ago. Wait, why are you on a lunch break then? Shouldn't you be working? Your supervisor went on a lunch break and just left you. That's quite unprofessional of that supervisor. I think I should actually look into that later. People these days have no concept of respect and dignity. Though tomorrow, you'll be having a lot more on your plate to deal with. <laughs> Speaking of which, what are you having for lunch? I, uh, don't speak Italian. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you're eating that pasta recommended by that TikToker. <laughs> I recognize that. I think she is kind of overselling it just for the views. Yeah, though it is working to make her very famous at this point. You know, I'm a funny talker myself. <laughs> I like to sometimes pronounce things weirdly just for shits and giggles. Let me see what I have in my bag. I didn't actually pack my lunch today. I got someone else to do it. Yeah, I'm paying them of course. Though, I'm kind of lazy sometimes. Seems like they packed a Caesar salad with cretins in it. How does it make you feel? He's saying cretins. <laughs> I know many get easily bothered by such silly things like this. Kind of fun to mess with those people. So, do you know much about our company? Really? You just signed up because this was the only internship that accepted you. <sighs> well, that's kind of sad. I, I mean, you got the job must mean you are good enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kind of sound rude there. Glad you could join the company. Now, let me give you a quick rundown because obviously your supervisor is just incapable of doing that kind of stuff. So, we sell paper and pies, but that's pretty much it. Paper and pies. Hey now, paper is a very big commodity. Everyone needs paper. You need paper for printing, for school, work, notebooks, art. So many industries need paper and an unbelievable amount of money to be made. So yeah, and uh, pies. We sell a lot. All sorts of pies. But we do specialize in plum pies. Oh man, I love myself a good plum pie. Especially in this economy, we make one hell of a deal for pies. And employees also get special treatment for these pies too. I think it's actually a 50% discount. So while you're here, pick up a pie or even a dozen. Here's a tip. Take the dozen or even more if you like, then freeze them. Then whenever you are hungry, just rebake it for a bit and voila, a delicious snack. Or meal if you can eat the whole thing. What? This ain't stealing. It's capitalizing on your position. Don't worry. No one will judge you. In fact, I like to take a few pies home each week. What? You think the company is going to fire me? Huh. That's never going to happen. Yeah. I am very confident. They're never going to fire me. I mean, there's also apple pies too. 
So, hey, try one. They're really good. So, how long are you going to stay here for? For your lunch break, I mean. Just a few more minutes. Alrighty, though, I don't think your supervisor's going to come by anytime soon. So you probably get to stay here a little bit longer if you like. Yeah, don't worry. Your supervisor has nothing on me. No one is going to argue with me. Trust me. Oh, that also means you don't know the other things that we have around here. Uh, we have a workout center if you want to get all fit and lose some weight, especially after eating all those pies. And then what else we got here? Got a sauna for relaxing. Got a small swimming pool to splish and splash. Well, this place does need these amenities. Like selling paper and pies is a very tiring thing. Gotta remember that, alright? I know it sounds like a joke, but paper and pies is a serious, and I mean serious, business. With all these amenities, it results in happier employees, better productivity. I think it's a win-win that we have so much to do here other than work. So, I'm not sure what you're going to be doing as an intern. We have all the employees to cover every possible job at hand. We have assistants, secretaries, and just cubicle monkeys doing calls and business things. <laughs> yeah, cubicle monkeys. I don't know, but all I can think of is monkeys when I see all the cubicles. Well, we also got all the bakers, cooks, and even tasters to make sure the pie is made to perfection. So, I'm not entirely sure what interns do. I've heard about the company hiring interns, but I don't know what you're going to do. There's nothing for you to really do. Maybe pick up a pencil here and there, maybe sample some pies, or even grab some coffee for someone. Your supervisor being very irresponsible is causing this problem for you. The people here are generally pretty good to get along with. None too many snark off, and many work together very well. Especially those cubicle monkeys. Oh man, it's great to chat with them while they're working. Yeah man. Many people talk to each other while working. Though productivity might be dropped. Presently, things get done on time still. So, you want to start making friends? Strike up a conversation with literally anyone. You're uncertain what to talk about? Well, that's what they do and kind of just continue from there. Well, I guess learning how to continue conversation is a learned skill, but you will become adept to it through time. This is probably the best company to develop your skills. Oh man, taking the initiative and asking my name. Look at you go. Improvements. Ha, <laughs> that means I completely forgot to introduce myself actually. The name's Jack. Jack Horner. Yep, I am the Jack Horner, CEO of this place. It's a pleasure to become acquaintance of yours.